Yesterday we visited Savannah, Georgia, and today we are in Charleston, South Carolina. And Charleston has been named America's number one small city for nine years now. So we're very excited to explore the city for the first time. But more importantly, we are very excited to eat a lot of Southern food. Like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Our first food stop of the day is Callie's Hot Little Biscuit. <laughs> so last weekend when we were in Asheville, we went to this spot called Biscuit Head and they had a gluten-free vegan biscuit, which meant I could eat it because I can't have gluten or eggs. And I was so excited and I thought, this is the one time in my life I'll ever be able to have a biscuit until Callie's Hot Little Biscuit one week later. So they have a gluten-free biscuit here and it doesn't have any egg in it, so it's safe for me. And it looks pretty dang tasty. It's nice and kind of crispy on the outside but really fluffy and the one thing to know about the gluten-free biscuits here though is that they cook them to order so it took 30 minutes to cook it so we just walked around a bit while we were waiting for it to be cooked but if you are going to get a gluten-free biscuit maybe call or order online in advance that way it's ready for you when you get there and I got this beautiful thing right here so this is a regular biscuit and sausage egg and cheese and this is pimento cheese I'm not a huge pimento cheese fan but it's a South Carolina Southern kind of thing, so you gotta go with it. And they have two uh, versions of it. They have a regular and then a fiery. You have to get fiery, of course. <laughs> it's The bottom is kind of coming apart, but so this is gonna be a little messy, but <laughs> I'm still, I'm excited for it. Oh no, this is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> but we're gonna try to get it all in there. Oh no. <laughs> it's just gonna crumble in my hand. All right. Mmm. <laughs> oh man. I was thinking and just looking at it, I was like, man, the one in Nashville is gonna be a bit better, but this one's really good because it's so soft and I don't know if you're supposed to overcook them, undercook biscuits. I mean it's it's kind of stiff on the outside but really soft on the inside, but man. I said in Nashville that was the best biscuit I've ever had. I think this beats it. It's really good. For once, I'm not gonna be the messy eater on the vlog. <laughs> Things might change today. There's still a lot of time, but so far, Adam wins. Oh, how the turn oh my good. tables. So I guess they put the butter, I guess they, they maybe sliced it open a bit because it's so buttery in there. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really going as I had thought, but it'll still be good. A plus, mm. good. Soft and chewy. I love this. Is it pillowy? It's pillowy. little biscuit is on this street called King Street which is one of the main areas to walk around in Charleston it has a lot of shops and restaurants including we just saw one of our favorite ice cream places ever Jenny's which Dangerous. we went to in our Nashville vlog is located here as well <laughs> there's also this really fun area to walk around called the French Quarter which we'll be going to in a little bit and similar to yesterday we're just kind of walking around exploring the city by foot and uh, you know eating a bunch of food <laughs> We're just walking through the streets and on every corner I just keep saying, man, that building's cool. Oh, look at that one. I just love all the old historical ones like these behind me, the exposed brick, but then like plaster over it. And this one's just super old brick. I don't know if you can see it because it's the sun. These giant doors, like the garage doors. Just loving walking around here. It's beautiful. <laughs> and then you just come around the corner and there's this awesome alleyway this is just beautiful food stop number two of the day the one I'm 
absolutely most excited of the whole weekend, like probably the last few weeks, is <laughs> we're at John or Lewis Barbecue. It's started by a guy named John Lewis, and he comes with quite a resume. So I think he came from El Paso, but then he went to Austin and he helped start Franklin Barbecue. You've probably heard of that one. But then he also helped start La Barbecue. And we've been to Franklin. It's out of this world, but you know, if you need, if you know anything about it, it's quite an experience. You got to get there super early in the morning, stuff like that. But we haven't had La Barbecue. Always wanted to, just haven't got around to it. But this guy moved out here, started Lewis Barbecue. I just want to <laughs> shut up and eat, but we obviously got a lot of food, which I'm not upset about at all. But we got brisket, and you can get the lean or the more fattier. And if you want flavor, you want the fattier side. We got what's called, they call it hot guts, it's sausage. And then this was a last minute decision that I'm not upset about either. It's pork ribs and they have like a, a glaze on there and oh my gosh. Oh, and then can't forget, <laughs> this is green chili corn pudding. It looks like cornbread, but it's pudding. I love barbecue places too, because as you're paying, they go, here's your plate. <laughs> it's a favorite. So this is more Texas style barbecue, not South Carolina style barbecue, but Adam's been talking about this place for a very long time. So we had to come here. It's so fatty, which normally is not like a positive word to describe something, but with brisket, the fattier, the better, and it just melts in your mouth. It's so good. And the guy gave us samples before we even bought it, which was great. <laughs> The outside is so salty and smoky, soft, fatty. <laughs> no words. No words. No words. Got the hot guts right here, and that name was just too funny not to get it. It sounds so gross, but it's a funny name. And they also have a bunch of different barbecue sauces. They have three, and this one's like a green chili barbecue sauce, so it's kind of like a yellowy green color, and it looks good. The hot guts are really good. So they make them in-house, and as we said during our Houston barbecue video, that's not always the case. Sometimes they get sausage from somewhere else and then just smoke it themselves, but this is a homemade sausage, and it's not too spicy. It has a little bit of a kick. I kind of feel the burn a little bit on the back of my tongue, but it's not bad. It's not to the point where you can't actually enjoy it and taste it, and it's really good. All right, corn pudding time. Burnt cheese all on the top, I look, looks like. I'm not sure what's all in it besides green chili, corn, and cheese. Mm. Corn's awesome, cheesy. It's kind of spicy with the green chilies, but barbecue places sometimes are hit or miss on their size, but this one's really good. We came in not planning to get these, and when I ordered them, the guy said, we're here for the brisket, but these are my favorite thing on the menu, so they look really good. Mm. Dude, I'm probably the best I've ever had. That's, that's just my happy place. <laughs> I, I would come here every weekend. It'd be a problem if we lived here. <laughs> we know meat sweats is a thing, but we didn't eat a ton of food. We saved some for later for dinner tonight, which kind of sounds funny because we have so much food in front of us, but we kind of had a little bit of a meat coma. We were sleeping in the van <laughs> driving over here it was well, no, we didn't sleep not while sleeping driving. During, when, we, when we parked yeah <laughs> when we parked to come walk where we are now yeah. we both took very many little naps because mm -hmm. we just are feeling a little sluggish <sighs> but up. we got to park ourselves up because mm -hmm. there's a lot left to do today yeah. but we're walking in this area called the battery and it's mm -hmm. a seawall so it's obviously along the water and on one side is the water and then the other side there's a park there are all these beautiful antebellum style homes mm -hmm. which basically means beautiful mansions <laughs> they are gorgeous just so we're gonna walk around for a bit and try to get some more pep in our step because yeah. we still have a lot of food left <laughs> So from the battery, you can see Fort Sumter, which is where the American Civil War started. We wanted to go check it out, but it cost 24 bucks a person and you have to take a boat to get out there. So we're gonna save it for next time, but it's something you should definitely come and check out. So on our way to our final food stop for the day, we made a quick little detour to try something that we've been seeing all around the South, but we have yet to try. Boiled peanuts. 
So I didn't know much about these. I, I knew they were boiled peanuts, but I didn't really know what that entailed. So we came to this place called Timbo's Boiled Peanuts, I think, just off the side of the road in this orange trailer. The owner's a hoot. He has a dog there, so that's fun. Um, and Max. Max, Max the dog. So this is a pound of boiled peanuts, and I guess today is his anniversary or 31 something? 31 years. 31 years. So he went back to his original pricing, so today was only a dollar for a pound of peanuts, and this is definitely more peanuts than we need, but it was only a dollar, and we're helping helping Timbo out. So it's interesting, because he, like, he, ha he like pulls them out of the boiling water, and they're like really like liquidy, or not liquidy, but they're really um, wet looking. They're very wet looking. And then you peel them open. Oh, and liquid goes everywhere. <laughs> and then there's peanuts in there. And I'm not really a huge, like peanuts not my favorite nut. I think cashews and pecans are my favorite. He did let us have samples, so we've had them already. And these are the Cajun style. That's probably not the correct way to eat them. They're actually pretty good. They're, they're really soft. They have kind of like a salty flavor to them and I like them. Fun to try. <laughs> well, like Catherine said, we had some samples while we were talking to him in line. He's so funny. But uh, I don't know how I feel about them. I, I can't I, feel this one. I like struggling. just the dry roasted peanuts, like ones you get at baseball games. And so these are, I mean, in my mind, I guess I just didn't think about it. I didn't know what to expect. And so they can to me, they're kind of more consistency of, of beans. Yes, exactly. Know? I was just about to say that. They're kind of like beans, and I love beans, so I think that's why I like them. They kind of just taste like salty and then bean texture. Yeah. I, I like them. I don't think we'll eat all of the pounds. That's a lot. That's there. a lot, but it was fun to try. Yeah, I mean, they're good. They Like I said, they taste more like beans to me, but I think I'll stick with my dry roasted, like the ones you get at a baseball game. That's, <laughs> I just, that's just like something fun to do, and they're salty and crunchy, but hey, to each their own. <laughs> Our last food stop of the day is Boxcar Betty's. We heard they had great chicken sandwiches, so I'm gonna put it to the test. Just looking at it, it looks really good. This bun looks awesome. What kind of sauce is that? Maybe like an aioli. Like an aioli, pickles. It looks like it's a slaw, and then on the bottom, uh, under the chicken there is more pimento cheese. And if it's any, any good as the pimento cheese I had earlier, ooh, this is flaky. Mm, looks good. It's gonna be good. And then, we also got a side of fried green tomatoes, and these things are apparently a southern staple, but I have a funny story about these. When I worked at a bank in Austin, there was a place across the street that people ordered from a lot, and they ordered these, but I saw them, they didn't look as like peppered as this, they just looked more uh, brown, and so I was like, ooh, cookies! So I pick one up, bite into it, and it was not a cookie. So that was my scarring, horrific, fried green tomato story that, and I haven't tried them since. So I'm excited to try these because they look really good. Without thinking they're cooking. Yeah, and I'll, I'll know what to expect. So this will be much better. <laughs> Here it goes. Much better than if I thought it was a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> the breading is awesome. This aioli is super good, it's like tangy. Oh, and they're pickled too, I forgot about that. So. That makes it tangy also. I'm actually not really a tomato fan. I love tomato based things like I love salsa, but I don't really enjoy just eating tomatoes by themselves. And if anyone's new to watching our vlogs and saw earlier when I said I had to get a gluten free biscuit, you might be very confused, but I'm just gonna have one little bite to try this because Adam made it seem like it was really good. Oh, and I love fried pickles. So this is anything like a fried pickle, I'm gonna like it. Mmm. That breading on there is probably the best like fried breading I've ever had. It's so like, crispy and crunchy and has like a good peppery spicy flavor. If you didn't tell me that this was a tomato, I would think it's a pickle because it's a pickled tomato and it's so good. I might become a tomato fan after this. <laughs> this guy looks awesome. The breading on there just kind of comes right up. Mm. The bun is super soft. I want to say it's a brioche bun, I'm not totally sure. But the chicken, the outside is crispy, but the inside is really juicy, it's good. The tangy sauce, the slaw, the pickles, 
the pimento. This is an awesome sandwich. All right, we've had enough food for the day. <laughs> we are just gonna relax and unwind at Folly Beach, walk around, nice little stroll on the beach mm -hmm. and let Kona run around and have fun. It was a long day of eating. It was kind of yeah. exhausting, yeah. but we had so much fun. Charleston, similar to Savannah, is just very historic mm -hmm. and charming and beautiful. Yeah. And they're only two hours apart. So we recommend visiting both. We love them both. We yeah. can't really pick a favorite. So if uh -huh. anyone's curious what our favorite is, I'd say they actually were more different from each other than we thought yeah, they Yeah, I thought they be. were going to be kind of one in the same, but they have some similarities, but definitely just different a little bit. Yeah, so go to both. Yeah. <laughs> That's our suggestion. <laughs> Kona, you ready to play? Let's go. Come on. We just saw Dr. Phil. Adam thinks we saw Dr. <laughs> Phil. I don't think it was him. <laughs> I'm nuts! <laughs> 